What's going on YouTube? Puck here back again with another video and today people we're going to be continuing our Pokemon Sun Let's Play. In the last episode we made it here uh, right outside the Battle Royale Dome and we're going to figure out what's going on here. So if you guys are excited be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hmm, why do I do this? Every time something brings me down I end up coming right back here again. Come on Noel, let's go bury our sorrow in the crowd. So Gladian has some some happiness issues. Oh, I didn't want to talk to you again. Uh, let's let's explore a little bit first. They're Pokemon that love to eat so-called garbage that humans throw away. Really proves that things value depends on where you stand, right? It's true. Got an Ultra Ball just tucked back here in the corner. I like that we did some scavenging then and we were able to find what do you want the battle royale it's an in imitation we trainers have devised before guardians of our island take part and decide who's the strongest of them all okay well i think we're good to go right in and see what's going on when you get our hands on the fishing rod you can't just wait to go out to shore and search for pokemon true even though i didn't Almost died. Whoa, that's creepy. First time I've seen Hypno in the wild. You can really sense a person's nature from the way they throw their Pokeballs. Oh, it sneezed me in my nose all weird. Sick. Okay, um, let's just do a little bit more exploring. I mean, for sure, but I can't admire wearing one. Okay. All right, all right. I'm done playing around. Let's go explore. Let's go explore. I don't feel like Tauros' hooves are very good for that glass ground. Jeez, it's pretty sick. This is the Battle Royale, the new four-person thing. Glad you can make it! Ha-ha! <laughs> Mucho libre! I am here today to spread the word! They call me the Mask Royale! Woohoo! The what? <laughs> the Mast Royale! I'm here to teach you, oh yeah, about the battle format passed down from Alola for generations! Jesus. This is cool. So basically explaining what Battle Royale is. First, just give it the shot! You then, come join in on the fun! Okay, so basically it's gonna be me, Hal, Gladian, and the Master Royale. The Master Royal. Um. In the Battle Royale. We're in the Battle Royale Dome. It's a pretty dope looking dome, if you want to be honest. Here come the contenders. I wonder what, how they picked the four Pokemon. Oh, this is a good matchup so far. Ah, uh, no. Oh God. A, A, A. So I am gonna gang up on Torcat. Looks like it's pretty laggy on these 3DSs, but. I gotta sneeze again. Ugh. <laughs> uh. That was bad. Okay. I'm just gonna keep. Cause I know the way that it works is you just the first person to die loses. It ain't about to be me today. Okay, gang up on me again. Why don't you? That's fine. Whatever. Dude, I just got three summed. Get out of here. Get your stupid Torquet ass out of here. I'm bad. They triple team me. That's not cool. Uh, 
Okay, 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 okay. What do you think? It's easy to have a fun time with the Battle Royal. You even have a shot at being real tough opponents. You were on fire during that battle. I hope you bring that fire with you and burn up my trial. He's got a very deep voice. The name's Kiwi, the fire captain. You can get to Whale Volcano Park from Route 7. I'll be waiting on the peak. If you plan to see your island challenge through to the end, climb to the top with your strongest team. You can't do that. So, Puck, how, how's your trials going? I hope that you and your Pokemon are working hard and having a blast. It just became Scottish for whatever reason. <laughs> how do you even know we were doing our trials? Oh, I get it, because you're one of the ambulance. I'm having a blast. I'm out. Because Null and I have to make it on our own, and I don't ever want to forget that. Wow, you're just a ray of sunshine, eh? <laughs> I think you'd have a lot more fun if you just let yourself have a good time with everybody else. You can do a lot more together, too. I wonder if this will work. I don't know what his deal is, but I thought battling was playing fun. That's why I like doing battle rails, and my Pokemon seem to like them, too. Alright, so that's the end of that, and I thought it was pretty good. I thought that was really fun. Um, it's like a quick little blurb into Battle Royales. Let's see, how do we get to... I think Route 7 is this way? Pretty sure it was this route up here. What's in here first? I want to see what this is. Oh, this is that Mega Mart thing, I think. Welcome to the Thrifty Mega Mart. Here, I have a special discount coupon. All right, let's see. Just show. I just want to check out staff when you're ringing up at the registers. I don't know how to shop. Three dollars a bag. Oh, do you just like? That's weird. House is overrun by kids and Pokemon. <laughs> That'd be my house if I lived here too. I try to travel as cheap as I can. When I find a market like this, I'm hoping I hit the jackpot. This fellow. This little fellow helps me stock the shelves. Oh, that's adorable. I want a little stuffle to help stock the shelves. You are creepy. Zzz. Something written on his chest. I'm just a poor hypno. Share some love. Okay. I want to give him more. wonder what happens if I give him $100. Okay, that's pointless. I just gave away a hundred dollars for fun. And that's why you talk to people. I got a, a tomato berry. I wonder what happens if I talk to the... Welcome to the Thrifty Mega Mart. You look like a trainer. I can tell you're just getting started. Okay. It's kind of weird, but it's kind of cool. Like, it's one thing that I always wondered is, like, where, like, s supermarkets and stuff like that in the region. And now that they finally incorporated them, it's really cool. Hold on. You butt munch. Or else you're too fat. I knew it. There had to have been something back here. There's the loading dock. That's actually really detailed. They actually put that in there. Okay, we are at Route 7. And this route looks really cool. You're missing out if you don't see the dancing. Now go up to the volcano. Okay. I'll go. Wele Volc Volcano Park. I wonder what's here. I want to see what's here real quick. Because this looks like a really cool area. It's a Fletchling! That's really cool. I was not expecting to see Fletchling. I get a nice Gale Wings uh, uh, Talonflame. He's a level 16, which means the wild Pokemon are like right in line with my Pokemon. I am going to fall behind quickly. Holy crap. All right. Tweet. 
Thank you. It's probably really loud. I apologize. I'm gonna throw a great ball at it. I feel like when it comes to catching Pokemon in this game, I can't be like, oh, I don't want to use my great ball, so I'm gonna throw a Pokeball at it. Just because it can call and help. And it's like, ugh. I don't want to have to deal with them calling and help all the time, so. Oh, that's an adorable little picture of Fleshlight. Bling. This amiable Pokemon is easy to train, when, but when battle is joined, it shows its ferocious side. I can never see Fletchling as ferocious, I'm just saying. I don't know if you guys can, but I can't. I cannot see a ferocious Fletchling. What else is here? That's what I want to know. Another Fletchling. Girl, girl. I like the route music in this game. It's really nice. It's really peaceful. <gasps> I might need this thing on my team. I might need it on the team. I don't know though. Oh, I'm torn. Because if he replaces anybody, it'd be the one that's out right now. I could also get rid of Crab Brawler. Then that gives me another water weakness. Huh. This is interesting. This is really interesting. Oh, that's adorable. It's a cute little cube bomb. Alright, I'm actually going to switch out into... Let's get Brion a little action for this episode, because I've not seen Brion in a hot minute. Aww, it's so adorable. Ding! So I'm going to go ahead and quickly knock out this other Cubone, and then I'm going to catch... I like how it does like a little pirouette and then like, ah! I was thinking about adding face cam to this series, but I think I'm just gonna wait till the next one to do it because I wanted this to be like super uber laid back. And it, so far it is and I really enjoy it. I'm having a lot of fun doing this LP. Uh, let's see, great ball. Ah. I, those sneezes messed up my whole nasal cavity, and it is really annoying. <sighs> Jesus, how did that... Oh, yeah, because I'm, like, minus three now. Thank you. I'm going to go and throw an Ultra Ball at it, just so I can catch it. I want to save my Ultra Balls, though, in case I get something really cool. Like, 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 um, um, uh, Jangmo. I don't even know where he's at in this game. Even though I heard he's like really, really late, so I don't think it's a big deal. Um, gain 178 XP. Sick. That that right there, people, is the cutest thing I think I've ever seen. He's like, ah, he's just holding the club up. Ah, he's so adorable. When it thinks of its deceased mother, it weeps loudly. Manda buzz that hear its cry will attack it. Oh, that's... Oh, that is really sad. Ugh. Basically, when he's crying over his dead mother, he cry... He just bawls, and then Manda buzz kills it. Like, that's really depressing. <laughs> to another Cubone... I'm going to move on to the next patch of grass, and I'm going to run in it in a little bit and see what I can find. There has to be more than just Fletchling and Cubones here. I feel like it can't be just those two Pokemon, especially noting this game. So far, it seems that is never the end of what's in the route. 
Oh, it's a Magby! Oh, this route might be my new favorite route. <laughs> There's just adorable Pokemon everywhere. I want them all. Hey, I have Kenai. That's cool. Don't kill it. Fuck! Damn it, Magby, why aren't you stronger? You're adorable, though. Crab Brawler is level 21. Sick. Alright, we're gonna move on to the next patch of grass. I don't want to battle this chick right away. Alright, let's see. What do we get? It's another Cubone. Jeez. I definitely want to refine that Magby, though, because I love Magby, and I would consider using a Magmar. Even though I can't... I don't know if I can make it a Magmortar in just a normal game. So I think I might just... There's a certain fire type I'm looking for, and I feel like it'd be here. I wonder if it is. It's a little lizard fire Pokemon. I feel like it'd be here. Speak of the freaking devil. It is him. Okay, so what I... Oh, and it's a female right away. I was going to say, I was going to use an adrenaline orb until it was a female. Until I found a female, because that's definitely what I want to use. Is a female sailing it. Because only females evolve. <laughs> I feel like one more should knock it into the red. I'm dead. Oh, poor Rockruff. It's really depressing when Pokemon faint in this game, especially the cute ones. Um, let's go out of Mudbray. I honestly think it's Crab Brawler's time. You know, I like Crab Brawler. He's really cool. But, <sighs> Salad it. And he's level 19, so he's already leveled up. I don't need to do any training on him. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. Because I really, really want to use Salad it. Because he's pretty darn cool. And since we got a female on the first try, I think female is only like 12% or something. Alright, let's see if we can catch this land it real quick. One, two, three. Bring, we got it. Yes, we got it, we got it, we got it. Look at how dope Saland it is. Such a cool concept, the Salamander Bandit. It burns its body fluids to create a poisonous gas. When enemies become disoriented from inhaling the gas, it attacks them. Oh, we're not going to give him a nickname. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I want to add it to the party. <sighs> Sorry, Crab Brawler. I like you, Crab Brawler, a lot, but... <sighs> I got I to gotta give it to my boy. Got to give it to my boy. All right, we're going to go this way. What's here? What do you want? I'm the cutest of the seismic sisters. This cave leads to the top, apparently, so we're going to head this way. We're going to see what's going on in here. Okay, so this is the trial. Good job making it this high. Why don't we heal your Pokemon for you? Sick. Nice, nice. If you want to go back to the mountain, you can cut through the tunnel right here. Oh, it's over here. <gasps> there was just a Zygarde cube there, and I just ran right by it. I'm going to have to go back up to the top. Because look, right there. I saw a little glisten. I think this tunnel takes you back down to the bottom. Eh. I don't know where I'm at. I am lost. Is that bad? Uh, I think it might be. I want to try to find... I want to grab that Zygarde cube real quick. I think this probably just swings right back around. I don't know. Oh my lord. Rockruff, come on. You got this. I know it's a little speedy little salamander mod, but come on. You got this. 
I need to kill this thing because I'm not gonna be able to get away, so. And we're gonna rock throw it. That should do a lot, to be honest. Probably a lot more than it realistically should. Uh! Bop! Get about. So adorable. I like how it even makes like a little gecko noise. It's like, eh, eh, eh. It's like, oh, you're adorable. I want you to be my best friend. <sighs> oh, it's a cute little cubo. Anyway, we're going to be wrapping up shortly here. I just want to grab that Zygarde cube real quick. And then in the next episode, we'll handle the next trial. These trials are coming so quickly, which is what I really enjoy. It's not like eight years between every single one. Oh, I see where we're at. Got a burn heal. Sick. Alright, let's go ahead and head back up. And I want to... Grab that Zygarde cube that I ran right by. But I want to get on Stoutland and see if there's anything else over here. <laughs> there it is. See that? I just completely missed that the first time. So let's see. We're going to head down here. Yo, look at that. Off in the distance, you see the magma and everything. That's really cool. The aesthetics on this game are so much better than any other Pokemon game that I have played. I mean, like, way off in the distance, there's even stuff that you can see, and it's like, I want to go find it. Now we just need an open world Pokemon game, and life will be complete. A Kadabra? Interesting. And I love the, the fire in the background and everything. This is a really cool area. Chop its throat open. Oh, uh, it's gonna hurt. That O code, hello? That's it. That's it. We're going out into Mud Bray. Because I can just bulldoze you. I love their cries. Like, all the Gen 7 Pokemon are so cool. It's surprising to think we're already in Gen 7. He almost O code me with that, too. Oh, God. This is not good. Get bodied! Mudbray is an animal! Gah! Basically, Mudbray is an animal. He swallowed a Psybeam from a Kadabra, and then proceeded to turn around and bop him real quick. There's a, H, or a TM down there I'm gonna go grab real quick. Cubone. Look at our cute little Salandon. He knows Dragon... Oh, he's busted. He knows Dragon Rage. 40 HP, gone. Just like that. He's going to be really good for catching Pokemon. Don't do this to me. <sighs> okay. Help didn't appear. die thank you that was a crit and i think that crit mattered so we're in 18 for salandit brion's at level 24 animal okay we're gonna get rid of water gun for bubble beam this is basically just a better water gun all right all right all right all right all right i'm gonna go get this tm real quick uh, uh, i gotta get off stoutland I would not risk that. Look at look at how close you are to just dying. Like, there's no way that's safe. Alright, what's over here? This guy, I'm not battling you. That's ridiculous. That would be going out of my way for a battle, and that's not okay. Alright, so we got a Fletchling. We're just gonna run away, because I'm about to end off today's episode right freaking here well once we get back over to where we need to be 
And in the next episode, we got trial number Trace. Number Trace. Because I speak really, 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 really good Spanish. Oh, come on. That's it. You're going to have to catch this land at work. How does, like, land it? I don't know how he is speed-wise, but he looks like he'd be extremely fast. Shoot! Stop it. Oh, he used agility. That's probably why he outsped. But he... Gone. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so that one's gone. Trumbeak's a level 22. Sick, 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 sick. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's head down this little hill again. Head back up through the tunnel. And in the next episode, you guys, we will be taking on our second or third trial. Wow, that's already a third trial. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And in the next episode, we're going to head through those doors. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video.